She runs into the house to look for Flora and Mortimer, but they are not in the kitchen. There's my daughter. She's uh, recovering from brain surgery. She had a tumor resected. Um, it's her third tumor, so it was, surgery went great. Recovery is awesome. She's recovering perfectly. I had a bunch of headaches and nausea, so they gave me books so I can, my mom can read it out to me. I know it's dangerous for them to be out there, but they can't stay here, he growls. 90% of the things that we did was read because she couldn't watch TV, she couldn't do anything else, so I kind of had to like read the books and keep her, her mind busy that way. So most of her time awake, she would just listen to me read, so I think it was, it was a great help. It helps me a lot because it unlocks a level of imagination. Oh, I think what he's doing is awesome because I know that there's a lot of kids here that maybe are going through the same thing as me or maybe something a little bit similar that, that definitely could use the um, kind of break from all the hospital setting and all the noises. So to hear something about a book or just read and kind of drift off into this imagination, I think what he's doing is really good. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Oh, it means, it means the world to me. I don't know what I would have done if I wouldn't be able to be sitting next to her. It was great that I could just be there reading for her. There is a picture of them running away. Okay, that's even more scary. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter 10.